Welcome to the math range. So for question two, we're going to sketch the points 1, 5, 3, 0, 2, negative 3, negative 3, 0, 2, and 2, negative 2, negative 1 on a single set of coordinate axes. So the first thing we're going to do is draw that set of coordinate axes. We're going to start with the z axis, draw the y axis, make this one like one lower. And then we're going to draw the x-axis. So we're going to label each axis. We have the x, y, and z. And let's label their negative counterparts. So negative z, negative x, and negative y. And let's add little uh, markers for one movement in each, each coordinate direction. So when plotting 3D points, we need to remember that in 3D, there's three components. We have the X component, the Y component, and the Z component. And each of these components, just the coordinate in their, in their relative uh, like axes. So the, for the point one, five, three, first thing we're gonna do, do is find where this point will lie on the X, Y plane. So we go on the, we start with the x coordinate. We go one in the positive direction. So it's going to be right here. And then we go to the y component and f find the positive y component, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be here. And we can draw a set of parallel axes. So notice how this axis. The, the dotted line I just drew is parallel to the y-axis, and this dotted line is going to be parallel to the x-axis. And there's a box method of doing this. I'll show it for one example, but generally it's faster not doing this box method, but just... So for the box method, you next you, you have to find the z component. So it's three. You go up one, two, three. My bad. One, two, three. And you basically draw out a box of all of these parallel axes. So hopefully you can see this box that got formed. And the point that we would have is here. But there's a, there's, a, there's a faster way of doing this. So instead of going up to the Z, we stay in the XY plane. And we just go up, just draw a straight line. And we just go up th th three units from there. Because remember the Z is 3. So 1, 2, 3. And here's our point. Alright, this will make more sense as we do more points. So let's do the next point. 0, 2, negative 3. So we don't travel anywhere in the X direction. We go Two, two values in the y direction. So we can draw that vertical line. And we will go up. All right, actually go down because it's negative three values. One, two, three, negative three. So here's our point. All right, so let's move on to the next point. Negative three, zero, two. So in the x direction, we go backwards three units. Negative one, negative two, negative three. We don't go anywhere in the y, and we go up two. 
So we draw that vertical line where the point is on the x, y plane. And we go up to one, two. So here's our point. So for our final point, two, negative two, negative one, we travel positive two in the x direction, negative two in the y. We can draw where this point lies on the x, y plane. And then draw that vertical uh, B component. Or, and the V goes down negative one. So we have a point right here. So these are the four points in one single set of coordinate axes. And sometimes it's hard to visualize because I'm drawing on a on a on a two D two D paper so sometimes it's easier if we uh, digitalize it so let me show you what this looks like in a 3d application called uh, GeoGebra as you can see we have our points they're color coded and we have our three set of coordinate axes and we have something very similar of what we drew but now if we rotate it you can see a better view of each of the points